Well, apparently I'm doing a seven day fast. I, I, f I, let me just start by saying that I feel much better. I have been very poor um, for yeah a year. Um, as you might know, if you know me, if you follow the channel, I had an injury that injured my brain. And with the injury, um, it afflicted my pituitary gland. And that has had like this huge effect uh, on my uh, on my hormone picture. So I got Addison's and I got hypothyroidism. Uh, not because there's anything wrong with the thyroid or with the adrenals, but because the pituitary no longer sends a signal, um, and that has made me really really sick. Almost died in October last year. Um, but then I started on medication hydrocortisone and everybody who has been on hydrocortisone knows that you gain a lot of weight um, obviously I'm happy I'm alive obviously um, but the weight gain was massive it was like 45 pounds um, but yeah how much is that 25 kilos or something like that uh, so a lot really a lot um, and the thing is no matter what you do no matter how much you eat I couldn't exercise because my brain won't allow me that. Uh, all this, all the strain and all that, completely depletes the adrenals, and my brain can't handle it. So, so it's been really, really a very bad year. Um, but then I started to water fast, and I have to say that of all the things I've done as an naturopathic doctor throughout the last twenty years, that is the most significant thing that has ever happened to me and and so much so that I'm going to start making these videos and please bear with me my brain is still not completely healed I mean I'm growing a brain here it takes time <laughs> and it's basically something you can't do um, which I'm doing I am improving massively I can make another video where I talk about that um, I tend to talk a lot and let me say that as a warning. Uh, I tend to talk a lot and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to restrict myself. I'm just going to talk. When I can make a video, I'm so grateful and so pleased that I can. So because it feels good today, I want to make a video and I'm just going to talk. And then what I'm going to do is in the description below, I'm going to put in the time for the different topics. So you can just look in the description and if you don't want to sit and listen to me ramble off, uh, you can just, you know, click on the topic you want to hear about and then skip to that. So I'm just going to talk. Um, another thing that happens is that my heat regulation is completely off. So all of a sudden I'm super warm or I really, really freeze. So, yeah. Lots of joy with injury to the brain. First of all, let me say that if you have a concussion or if you have a brain injury uh, I know that a normal allopathic doctor uh, your average neurologist and your average endocrinologist is going to tell you that yeah well that's it have to learn to live with it and it, you don't as an allopathic doctor there's so so many things you can do um, google it so many things you can do on this channel I'm going to talk mainly about uh, vegan keto lifestyle and I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting 18.6 to OMAD one meal a day and I'm going to talk about water fast because in my opinion that is what has the biggest influence on how your brain is recovering how your adrenal thyroid uh, gonads are recovering so your whole um, endocrine picture all your hormones and your brain is recovering with with a vegan keto 18 6 to water fast and that's what I'm going to focus on on this channel um, I have been doing the water fast now for I can't remember <laughs> that's another thing I, my memory is really really poor um, I have a lo lovely brother to help me out with the uh, with remembering, I can't remember how long I've been water fasting, but I know I've been doing eighteen six since uh, August seventeen. Um, and the thing is that eighteen six is amazing. 
if you're not doing 18.6, off you go, right away. You can stop the video right now, start 18.6 right away. Um, I have a lot of videos, uh, mainly in Danish actually, um, about 18.6. Um, so if you're Danish, you can just look into the Danish channel. Um, 18.6 is where you eat for six hours a day. You just gather all your meals in a six hour window and then you fast for 18 hours, easy peasy. It's not really difficult at all, uh, unless, unless, you are completely sugar addicted and you eat lots of starch like bread, rice, pasta and potatoes. If you do that, then fasting for 18 hours might almost be impossible for you. And then I would suggest for you to first of all look into vegan keto or keto diet. Um, get all the starch and sugar out of your diet. It's not doing you any favors at all. It's making you emotionally very unstable. You're retaining water. Did you know that for one gram of starch you are binding six grams of water so just having a sandwich with 250 grams of bread you will gain uh, 1.5 kilos of water tomorrow congratulations so uh, i mean starch is not doing you any favors at all at least not if we're talking chronic disease if you're completely healthy but then you wouldn't be on this channel but if you're completely healthy do whatever you want if you have a chronic condition uh, which is the type of conditions I've been working with for, for two decades. So if you have a chronic condition, get get into the keto diet and preferably the vegan keto diet so you don't get any of the toxins and the hormones and, and all of that uh, from the animal protein, but get it from, from plant, so, plant sources instead. You will feel the inflammation rate dropping immediately. So anyways, um, I've been doing 18.6 for a long time. I've been doing OMAD, um, but then I started to do the water fast, and the first thing I experienced on the water fast, I did. Uh, st I started out with uh, I think it was forty-eight hours or something like two days, something like that. Um, and the first thing I felt was a brain clarity, and for me, that has been absolutely amazing since the accident in twelve uh, seven years now. Um, I haven't been able to be outside amongst other people with because they smell and I vomit when people smell and the majority of people do smell the smell of people uh, the same thing with the noise when my brain can't differentiate between what sound is important and what isn't so I got everything all 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 your impulses in with equally importance my brain couldn't filter out what was important what wasn't so all the people talking I heard all of it at once, which completely made me so tired and gave me migraines. Um, I also have a thing with light and reflecting lights. Uh, I'm wearing sunglasses all the time. It's only now because I'm water fasting that I can wear no sunglasses. Normally I'm wearing these blue glasses uh, when I'm inside and I have darker glasses also with blue glass. I can make another video explaining why, it's, why they're blue um, every time I'm outside. But now, because of the water fasting, um, I, don't, I don't need that as much. The glass doesn't affect me as much, which is completely mind-blowing. I mean, you have to, have to understand, I've been lying in dark rooms with no contact with other people, eating salt um, because of my injury and because that was the only thing I could do. So I feel that the water fast has, has completely saved my life, and everybody who's going like, you know, water fasting is going to kill you. I'm like, well, I didn't have a life before. That was the starting point. Um, I've always, as an aeropractic doctor, I've always been against water fast, always. If you ask me like a year ago what I thought about water fast, I would say don't do it. Because what happens when you water fast is that you're, you get very low insulin, you do that with, with a keto diet as well, and you do that when you do 18.6. After 12 hours of fasting, your insulin drops, your body starts to go into ketosis, which is when you're, not, you're no longer um, getting energy from sugars, you're getting that from, uh, from, from fat, and, from, and, and that means that you're producing ketone bodies. And when that happens, your sodium level drops, and uh, the whole electrolyte balance the whole osmosis in the cells with the uh, with potassium and sodium um, in my block 
on themorelife.com. I have explained all this. I'm going to put a link in the description as well so you can read about it. Um, but what happens is that you are basically dehydrating yourself and you are shifting your whole electrolyte balance for the more water you drink, the worse you're going to get. So for me, as an naturopathic doctor, as working with functional medicine, water fast was completely insane. So then I started to hear about the effect. There was actually a study, I think it was in 18 last year, there was a study about the effects of uh, water fast on uh, Alzheimer's. And what Alzheimer's experience in, in function is a bit of the same that people with my type of injury, rear head trauma injury, uh, experience as well. So therefore I was like, it piqued my curiosity that a water fast could improve the way that, that, that the patient is perceiving his or her Alzheimer's. And I was like, okay, um, I'm completely against water fast. How can I get over myself? You know, how can I find a solution so I can water fast and I feel safe with water fasting? Obviously, I can do that with adding electrolytes. Um, so I rolled up my sleeve and I started to research. And I found out that the majority of recipes on water fast is, uh, is not that uh, correct. I don't know how to say that. Um, they're using the wrong kind of, of minerals. Um, if you want to water fast and you want to add the type of minerals that are inside the cell, you need to be very specific with what you're using. So it's, um, it's potassium chloride. The majority of uh, recommendations is on, on citrate instead. I have written my blog why you should use it, simply because it's chloride you have in the cell. There's no point in drinking anything else. Um, I'm using Maldon salt. It's an English salt that has more minerals than Himalayan salt. And also, uh, a lot of the Himalayan salt you can buy is actually just, you know, uh, colored sea salt. So to make absolutely sure that you're getting the best quality, I'm recommending Maldon salt. And then it's magnesium citrate, citrate, I think it's called citrate, in or uh, magnesium bisglycinate. And that is one of the big differences because the majority of people recommend magnesium sulfate. But magnesium sulfate is, is um, it's a salt, it's not magnesium, it's Epsom salt. And what happens when you drink Epsom salt is that you use that for, for, for salt flush, where it takes salt, no, sorry, it takes um, water from your cells and pull it into the intestinal tracts and release everything in the intestinal tract. So you, pe you poop everything out. And you don't want to do that when you're, when you're fasting. You want the magnesium to go into the cell. So you have to use either magnesium citrate, which has a 90% bioavailability, bio or you can use um, magnesium bisglycinate, which has an 80% bioavailability. The difference between those two is depending on, on how much um, HCL your stomach, how much uh, stomach acid, acidity that you have. If you're very acidic, you can use um, bisglycinate because it needs HCL to convert into the magnesium that you can use in the cell. You don't need that with a um, with magnesium citrate. So usually I recommend citrate because, I mean, the majority of people don't walk around and know the level of hydrochloride and uh, of, uh, what do you call it, uh, stomach acid. Um, so just to be on the safe side and know that you get everything you need. And you need like 300 milligrams of that. Again, in, uh, in my blog, I have all this information and I have the recipes, I have links to where you can buy it and all that. Anyway, when I got my, and I call that mix, I call it the cell drink, because if I call it electrolytes, you think it's the same as everybody else has recommended, and it's not completely different. You need to be very, very specific when we talk about minerals. It has a first name and a surname. It's, it's like saying there's a difference between, you know, Mr. Jones, that could be anybody, like magnesium, that could be anything, 
or Mr. Jared Harry Howard Jones. And that's the magnesium citrate. So you need to be very specific on what kind of, uh, of mineral you're using. Very, very, very important. And the majority of people don't know that. Now you do. So look at my blog. There you have the recipe and the links for everything. When I started on, on the cell drink, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I don't call it electrolytes because everybody calls whatever magnesium, potassium, sodium drink they do for electrolytes, and it's not correct. So I call it a cell drink. Uh, I started out by calling osmotic uh, cell drink, but nobody knows what osmosis is. Everybody knows what a cell is. So I call it the cell drink. Um, when I started out on drinking the cell drink, uh, I felt a huge difference. First, I, I just took, you know, a standard um, electrolyte mix from bulk powders, which has the wrong kind of potassium in it. Um, so that didn't work at all. I felt miserable. And you can you know that if you're getting the proper amount of, of electrolytes and the right amount, the right type of electrolytes, because if you don't, and if you don't get enough, you get dragon breath, like the one that kills your spouse in the morning. You get dizziness, you get huge hunger pangs, you know, where you're so, so hungry. Um, you get um, yeah, all the symptoms of, of fasting, what people say that, oh, that's why it's so difficult to fast, because I, I feel so sick when I fast. Well, it's only because you're not getting the proper electrolytes. So mix the proper ones, get the right minerals, do the cell drink and off you go. You're going to see a huge difference. As soon as I started on the right mix, I felt such a difference. And I feel amazing water fasting. Um, I start, It's the 1st of September, 19, today. And I started a uh, like a 30-day challenge in my Danish group. I made an English group as well. Uh, I haven't got any members yet because I've worked mainly in Danish. So I have made a... An English group on Facebook you can just join in. It's called um, From 186 to Waterfast. You're welcome to join in. Um, and I started an event today where they use uh, 186 and ADF, which is alternate day fasting. So today they eat 186. It's Sunday. They eat 186 from 12 to 6. Um, and then they fast from today, Sunday, the entire Monday, and eat Tuesday from 12 to 6 again. Then they fast from 6 o'clock, fast the entire Wednesday, until Thursday at 12, they eat until 6, fast from then the entire Friday, and eat at Saturday 12 to 6, and Sunday from 12 to 6. So they fast Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and it's a great program you know, if you wanna, if you wanna try fasting, and um, I'm gonna talk more about that in a sec or in another video because what I wanted to talk about was actually that I had planned to do that as well. Um, last week or this week uh, was was a bit shifted, uh, so I was eating on Wednesday and stopped eating at four o'clock, and then I was fasting Thursday and I was supposed to eat Friday. But I felt great, you know. When I fast, I have this amazing brain clarity. You know, I feel me again. I feel human again. Um, so I didn't want to stop the fast. Because as soon as I eat, even though I eat vegan keto, I get absolutely anti-inflammatory diet. I'm not having any kind of anything that can disrupt with anything. Then 75% of whatever you eat, um, the energy, the seventy-five percent of your energy is going to the intestines and helping you with digest, di uh, digesting. And I haven't got that much energy to begin with, so on my feasting days, on the days I eat, I get so so tired. I'm not, I don't have the uh, the vision thing, and I, I don't have the balance thing. I lose balance a lot. I, I it's like being on a ship. My, it's like my eyes uh, trick me into seeing that the floor is moving. So I fall a lot, I stumble. I don't do that when I fast. And when I fast, I can be out amongst other people. When I eat, I can't. So 
I felt great and I didn't <laughs> I didn't want to eat because I just felt great. I'm because of the Addisons, I'm not really hungry. It's been a huge problem before. Um <coughs> excuse me. Where I'm not eating enough. Uh for a long time when I was really, really bad, I was between five hundred and eight hundred calories and because of being on that so long and now with the hydrocortisone, I gained all the weight, obviously. That I have. Um, with the water fast, obviously I'm losing weight, but it's not it's not as quick as as it might be for you. If you only please understand me right, um, have any chronic disease, if you only have you know arthritis or pain or something like that, and you don't have any hormonal imbalance and you're not on hydrocortisone, um, then you're going to lose weight very very quick. But I really want to encourage you to not focus on the weight, focus on on you, on how it feels to be in your body. Um, anyways, I've since I started water fasting, I have dropped, um, I think it's 11 kilos, 22 pounds, uh, which is great, absolutely amazing. It's not why I'm doing it. <laughs> Uh, it's a huge bonus and it's absolutely impossible to lose weight while you're on hydrocortisone just like if you're injecting insulin absolutely impossible to 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 lose weight however you do with the water fast and with intermittent fasting and with vegan keto you do but please don't focus on the weight i mean you and your worth is so much more than how you look in a pair of jeans. So please don't focus on that. Forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, well, anyway, Friday. I felt so great that I didn't want to ruin it with eating. So I was like, I was like okay, I'll just, I'll just take 24 hours more. And that was yesterday. And uh, I felt great yesterday too. It was my day three. So... I was supposed to be absolutely miserable and I wasn't. And I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take a week. I'm going to do a week and then I'm going to refeed. Um, I'm going to fast until Wednesday. I'm on day four today. Um, I'm going to fast until Wednesday, refeed with uh, a green smoothie. I'm, I think I'm going to make a video about how I'm, how I'm refeeding because there's not that many videos about that. The majority of people just feast on with burgers and snacks and steaks and stuff and it's really not a good idea I mean if you're doing it for weight loss well off you go you shouldn't be on this channel if you're doing it for healing chronic disease you really should you know honor your body more you know honor yourself more your, your body has done a huge effort during this fasting period and you should reward it so my plan is to refeed with uh, fresh organic spinach some lemon juice some ginger powder an avocado and water, maybe some almonds, depending on what I feel like. There's a lot of potassium in that, um, and then lots of water. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna have that around, you know, from twelve to three. And then I'm think I'm gonna make a uh, a soup with uh, broccoli and green beans and uh, and oven baked cauliflower. When you boil cauliflower and you bake it in the oven afterwards, it goes so deliciously creamy. And then add water and blend it, and that's my that's my refeed soup. And lots and lots and lots of fat. Uh, if you stick uh, on this channel and if you read my blogs, you're gonna see that I'm a, a huge supporter of fat. Um, I use um, uh, unrefined organic coconut oil for basically everything. I use uh, extra virgin olive oil. Um, I use uh, rape oil. Uh, organic rainbow. I'm so fortunate to be Scandinavian. I live in Denmark and we have amazing underground for rape. So I know that if you're American, uh, everybody's telling you not to use rape oil. Um, and that's true if you're American. Unless you can get the Danish one, we have a small island called Bonholm. And it's the rape oil you get from there is so delicious and it's super, super high in omega 3. So I use that a lot. They have uh, an organic organic version, they have a chili version, they have a lemon version. So I use that a lot to get my omega-3s. Um, I'm not calorie counting at all. I don't believe in that. I can make another video. I can refer you to Jason Fung about calories. I mean, calories is, 
it, it's a man-made concept, just like time. I mean, time doesn't exist. It's something we have made up to understand things better. Time doesn't exist. Uh, and calories don't exist either, at least not the way that we are using it. Uh, so it, that's a man-made con concept. So I don't count calories, um, just like I don't count minutes. I mean, that's pointless as well, isn't it? Um, so yeah, on, on Thursday I'm planning to have my, my green smoothie and my, uh, and my soup. And then on Friday, and the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I'm looking so much forward. The thing is, I'm not hungry. I'm really, really not hungry, but I'm looking forward to eating. I would like to eat, you know? That's the mental part of it. Um, not hungry, but love to eat. And I love food. I love cooking food. I cook everything from scratch. Uh, I love cooking. Uh, I'm going to make uh, cauliflower falafels because I love falafels, but I don't eat any chickpeas because I'm keto. Um, so I'm going to make cauliflower falafels and I'm going to do it in like a lettuce, um, what's called iceberg lettuce wrap uh, with mayo. And then I'm going to oven bake sprouts, green beans, um, broccoli and cauliflower and have with a lot of vegan butter on top. Looking so much forward to that. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to eat the entire day. Uh, entire day, then I mean I'm still doing 18 shakes. I know that a lot of people say that when you refeed you should just eat whenever you feel like it, but I can't do that. Um, because of my brain, because when I eat, I, um, I get the shift. So I'm, I'm still f doing 18 hours of fast to be in ketosis as much as possible and to put as little strain on my body and my brain uh, as possible. Uh, so I'm eating between 12 and 6. Uh, so I get my, my fasting window. And I'm going to have that Friday. Saturday and Sunday, I think I'm just going to do regular, either OMAD or 18.6. And then from Monday, friends, I'm back again with the program. <laughs> so I'm fasting Monday, Wednesday, Friday with you. Um, you can see the program on my blog. I have the programs. I have different programs in there where you just can, you know, pick and choose or whatever you want to, uh, you feel like doing. Um, and you can join the fasting family either on Facebook or, uh, or just follow me on the blog. I also got an Insta. Obviously, it's my name, Penelope Moore. Um, so you can just search for that. Uh, was there anything more I wanted to say? Well, I'm on day four now on my water fast. Uh, I have talked about the the cell drink, how you should do it. Oh yeah, I'm lazy. I <laughs> the way back in the seventies, I'm. I remember the 70s, that's how old I am. I'm from 67, so I remember the 70s. And uh, we had this uh, kidney shot that we did. And that was, uh, you have apple cider vinegar and you mix in um, a soda bicarbonate in it and you add a bit of water and when it's done sizzling, you drink it. And that's an amazing kidney shot. It's in my blog as well. You can find it there as well. Uh, it's an amazing way to... Well, you can get rid of kidney stones by drinking it. And when you pass the 36-hour window, uh, you need some kind of support for your liver and your kidneys. And the kidney shot is great for that. But I'm lazy, so I'm adding the kidney shot to my cell drink. Because then I kind of get everything in once and I don't have to remember... Also, to do the kidney shot once or twice a day, I can just drink myself drink my cell drink and and that's it, which is great. I'm not good at remembering stuff, so I put it in, but you can read it in my blog. I have told you how to do it and what and 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 what it it's made of and why we do it uh, and everything I'm also a nerd, so everything has links to all the studies if you're a nerd like me and you want to read more about it um I think that's about it. Um, if I feel great tomorrow, I'm going to make another video. Uh, if I don't, then there might be a while until you hear from me. I'm writing, whenever I have brain clarity, I write stuff on my blog. And I write in my Facebook groups and on Insta. So you can follow me there. As soon as I feel ready 
to make a video that I'm going to do that. But I need to have energy surplus to do that. Uh, I'm sure you understand. If you have any kind of chronic disease, you know how it is. You've got good days and bad days. So yeah, I actually think that's it. Um, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe and share and all of that. The majority of people do. I mean, I'm sure you're an adult and you can make decisions for yourself to do whatever is right for you. Oh yeah, a last thing I have to say. It's the, the mandatory disclaimer. I am a doctor, but I'm not your doctor. So please don't do anything without supervision. I mean, you can do 18-6 easy peasy. But as soon as you go past the 24-hour day, and, and intermittent fasting is where you eat every day. And in my book, that is not really fasting, is it? I mean, you're eating every day. Whether you are eating in a six-hour window or in a one-hour window, every day you're eating, and that's not really fast. Uh, I call it that anyway, but you know what, you know what I'm getting at, right? Uh, intermittent fasting you can do no matter what. If you're diabetic, if you have on statins, if you're on whatever medication, you can do it. Even when you're on metformin, you can do it. Um, hypothyroid, you're going to feel a huge shift if you do 18-6 or OMAD, definitely. Um, if you don't eat every day, then you're doing extended fasting. And doing that, you need to be... I mean, certain, some people can do it, some people can't. I have written on my page who can do it and who can't. You can't do it if you're on metformin, for example. You can't do it if you're normal weight or if you're uh, underweight. You can't definitely do it if you're pregnant or, or breastfeeding because everything goes in your blood straight to the baby. Don't do that. Um, obviously, if you have an eating disorder, you have had an eating disorder, then it might trigger you emotionally back into that but if you have had or if you have an eating, so eating disorder you're probably already you have a nice therapist which you can talk to about it and so what I'm trying to say is that you know be sensible um, do all this for you but do it sensible uh, speak with somebody that can help you in it for example I am uh, on very high medication due to my medicines uh, I went to my endocrinologist and she was like I don't know anything about water fast <laughs> at all, uh, but I know about Edison's and I know about hydrocortisone and what you're doing. It, your blood number look absolutely amazing. Off you go. See you in six months. So I obviously know what to do, but I also needed to speak with my endocrinologist that could say everything's fine. What you're doing looks amazing. I don't know anything about it. I know about the other stuff. Off you go. Do it. So do that too. Um, and research. Don't do anything half. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it right. Uh, another thing I want to say is don't start water fasting right away. I mean, start with 18-6. Start with keto. Get off the sugar. Get off the starch. Get off the bread, rice and pasta and all that. Potatoes. Get off that. It's not doing any favors. Start the keto diet. Preferably start the vegan keto diet. And everybody says that's difficult. It's really not. It depends, depends on what you want. And if if you are, ask me in my position where you get life back by doing it, it's not difficult, is it? I mean, I haven't really got a choice. I can lie in, in my dark hallway eating salt, being without any kind of other people with window, the windows closed so I'm not influenced by the people talking in the street. I mean, that's not the life. Having that or eating vegan keto, I bet your vegan keto is so easy. So, obviously, it depends on what you want. If you have pain ankylosing spondylitis, if you have fibromyalgia, if you have arthritis, um, or if you are SI, if you have any kind of like concussion, uh, brain injury, um, what's it called, um, PCS, the post-concussion syndrome, you really should try the 18-6, the vegan keto diet, and, uh, and water fasting, join me in my fasting group. I would love to help. You can just write me. And when I have a clear mind, I'm helping as much as I can. Um, and when I don't have a clear mind, I'm not in the group at all. But then there's other people that can help you and, and answer your questions. So, yeah, I think that was it. I 
can't think of anything else to say right now. Um, yeah, I just want to circle a bit back to the uh, to the obesity thing, to the weight loss thing. Um, if you scroll through all my my things on Insta and Facebook, you're going to see that I have a quote where I say that um, obesity is not a problem; it's it's a solution. And what I mean by that is that you might be on the level where you see your obesity and your overweight as a problem. You need to get up and look at it from above and see that your body has made you obese as a solution to, to a problem. You know, as well as I do, that some people can eat whatever and never get fat. You can't. And you need to find out why you then pick that as a solution to something. So... The problem of obesity and overweight is so much more than what you stuff in your head, you know. It has a lot to do with awareness. It has a lot to do with self-care, self-love. And um, I'm meditating daily. I uh, have been for 40 years, 40 years um, med meditating morning and night. And what I find that when I do that... Um, during water fast is that my spirituality and my clarity and my awareness about why I do as I do and why I think as I do and the solutions that I choose for myself, um, the motivation gets so much clearer. And I can recommend you that if you're obese or if you're overweight, that you just take just five minutes twice a day where you sit for yourself in quiet, close your eyes, breathe, and just focus on you, just get back to you. Meditation is basically just practicing yourself in having that mind chatter going on and getting your focus into your breathing. And as soon as you find yourself being out of the mind chatter again, you'll get your focus back to your breathing. That's meditation. You're supposed to find yourself in the mind chatter. And what happens is that the more times you find yourself in the mind shutter and bring yourself back to, to you and your breathing. When you meditate, you will be able to do that as well in life. And that way you're not as distracted by stress and by um, ingrained actions like when you feel sad, you eat, you know. Um, so if you're obese and, and, and or if you're overweight, I can really warmly recommend you to take five minutes twice a day where you just focus on your breathing and get connected to you find out how much you actually love yourself and find out why you are not choosing actively to take care of yourself like a loving mother and a protecting father um yeah i can hear i need to make more videos about that Anyways, enough for me. I'm so happy that I, after more than a year, I'm able to make this video. I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I did. And, um, well, see you on all the socials. <laughs>